Um, my name is Preeti and I am 17 years old. Um, I just finished my HSC and the subjects that I took for HSC were English Advanced, Maths Advanced, Maths Extension 1, uh, Physics, Chemistry and Engineering Studies. In university, I am looking to do engineering, uh, specifically software engineering. And my hobbies include dancing, reading and badminton. The subjects that I most enjoyed at school were physics and chemistry because they uh, involved a lot of logical thinking and allowed me to be inquisitive about the world around me. Uh, the subject that I was most that I struggled with the most was math extension one. It was very hard and challenging, but the way I got through that was by doing a lot of past papers and making sure I knew the content and the syllabus stop points. So that really helped me get through that subject. The strategies that helped me thrive in year 12 was to create a good um, study plan. So as sim simple and as easy as that sounds, uh, creating a study plan that uh, works for you is one of the most important aspects of studying for your HSC. I think uh, uh, creating a simple and effective study plan allowed me to stay, stay on track on top of my tasks and allowed me to make sure that I knew everything that had to be get that had to be done was actually completed and uh, prevented me from getting overwhelmed with all of the HSC stress. So a study plan, and I also made a lot of lists. So that allowed me to cross it off as I go. So that helped me feel a little bit like better that I com completed all my tasks that I need to complete. So in 2020, obviously the pandemic hit uh, all of us together. So I feel like even though or a lot of us were a disadvantage where we were all in the same boat and all of our teachers and mentors at Thailand were very understanding of what we were going through. So it was a, it was very different studying in 2020, doing my HSC. Uh, it was stress added on top of the stress that already uh, students go through in their final year of high school. So the way I uh, approached it was to take initiative on my for my own learning. It was very easy to slack off during the times where we had to self-isolate and study from home. So my best strategy was to make sure I took the initiative for my own learning and uh, make sure that I was staying on top of my work and not sucking. I think the best piece of advice that I could give future year 12 students was to apply for everything, apply for all early entry opportunities because I had a couple of early entry offers before I sat my HSC and that really did help my confidence. It helped me, um, made, made sure that I was like not stressed as much as I would be because I knew that some universities were willing to offer the course that I wanted to study. So that's the best piece of advice that I would give to apply for everything. Even if you think that you won't be able to get it, it's, the, it, it's worth to apply. So Thailand 100, as soon as I came into the center, I felt it was very open and welcoming. Um, it was a very warm environment. There was a lot of, first thing I noticed was there were a lot of study spaces available. So that made me feel like welcomed and made me feel like I wanted to come here and continue learning. As soon as I enrolled, I saw that there were 10 hours of one-on-one -on -one tutorials. So that made me feel like, okay, so I have extra help if I need it. I do physics and chemistry at Talent, and I had the same mentor for both my subjects. His name is Michael Liu. Uh, he has helped me through my HSC studies, both through year 11 and 12. Uh, one of the best things I liked uh, about having Michael as my mentor was that he's very close to my age. So he understands what it's like to be a HSC student because he did it not too long ago himself. He's also very knowledgeable about the syllabus and he knows in depth of what it's like to be a HSC student. Uh, not only has Talent 100 given me um, lifelong friendships and allowed me to have a lot of fun while learning, it has also made me more prepared for the HSC than I would have ever been.